out Woodside today, we're having a hackathon on the Fiona Woods Burns database. Instead of our normal community day of planting trees or cleaning up a beach side, we're hacking the Fiona Woods database. The whole aim of this event is firstly, to help improve the lives of burn survivors. And for the Woodside people here, this is just a bit of an illustration of how we can all pull together, regardless of what our particular skills are, and get something meaningful done in the space of a day. One thing we really lack in our business is statistical power. So that's a real bottleneck for us. And we've got heaps of it today, and I'm just really excited to see what we find. There's a lot of things that we could do with the data, but the main thing is understanding whether the data has music in it. Does it contain the information that we really want to get out of it? There's just great energy around the room. Everyone's really, really buzzing. We're working on some real world problems that are going to have a real impact on people and just to be able to give a bit of our time and putting our ideas together and have that sort of positive impact is just mind-boggling. It's really fantastic to be here. We've built an in-house centre of excellence and that team now has grown from just me and one other person at the start of the year to uh, over 10 of us now. We've got a lot of uh, positions for graduates and interns. Data science as a field has such broad application. In fact, you can see that here, here we have our data scientists working alongside medical researchers. 2016 is really exciting. We've got our first intake of graduates from data science coming into Woodside. So that's new skills coming in, building our talent pipeline for the future in this area. We started our relationship with Woodside in the mid-90s and we're still working together and making a difference. So the collaboration we see here today is just fantastic from our perspective. And I'm hoping the Woodside guys think the same. To be able to bring to the table the capacity to analyse data that we have collected over a long time, but what does it mean? What don't we know? How can we make incremental changes to people's lives based on the data and the evidence over a long period of time? And we don't have that analysis capacity in-house. And so to be able to connect with people who do, it just opens doors that we only dreamed of. We want to develop a tool uh, that can be used to visualise the range of outcomes for burn survivors. Not everyone has surgery, so where's that threshold? Do the ones that fall just on one side of the line get better outcomes than the ones that fall just on the other side of the line? And maybe that line should move. The vision going forward is to have a tool where if you fit into a certain type of cluster, you can have a, a visual of your outcome. The bottom line is information we unearth today will change people's lives. And that's what makes it so powerful.